Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I am getting ready for work, and I'm going to try out this new makeup palette, uh, Poison Shock Ghost Pepper from PH Cosmetics. And I already have this topper chalk on my lips. It is meant to be a topper on top of another, like maybe a matte lipstick. But I used it today just as a lip gloss. Gives my lips a little bit of shine. That's all I want on my lips. I will put my sleeves on and some earrings on before I go to work. But uh, for now, I want to go ahead and try this palette out. It is, the temperature is raining 54 degrees Fahrenheit in my filming space right now. And I have the door open so that I can enjoy that cool weather. So finally, for once, I don't have the air conditioner running or a fan. I am more comfortable when I am in cool weather, cool or cold. Weather that ordinary people wouldn't be sitting here <laughs> in, um, in a sleeveless dress. Alright, so this has some really bright gold colors. They don't have a mirror, but that's okay. I know that I do a lot of red looks. And normally I would want red and black, but I am going to just use what's in this palette today. Okay, so they are named. I'm going to use this one called Smoke Signal. I think the camera and the lighting is washing, washing the colors out a little bit more. This is a beigey pink color on the palette. Probably pretty much my skin tone. We'll, we'll find out. Yep, so that makes a good transition shade. There's not really any color to it, at least on my skin. Alright, I want to go right into this deepest shade right here. It's sort of a maroon, yeah, I mean, maroon color called Boiling Point. I'm going to go right into it, and if y'all hear the sound of chickens, that's because my chicken pen is right outside my door. And they do not respect the fact that I need silence to film. Alright, so I'm just picking up a little bit of this product because I feel like it's pretty pigmented. Yeah. Yeah, so I just picked up a little bit of it. Alright, that's a nice color. I like it. It's pigmented. I expected it would be. And it was fairly easy to work with and build. I think I might still not be done. Hang on, I want... A little bit more to make it a bold look. Gotta do that bringing it up and out bit on the on the corners here because of the hooded eyes and wanting to give it that illusion of being more oval shaped. And it's hard because this eye that I'm working on now is even more hooded than the other one. So they're not the same shape. So I'm trying to even them out with makeup can be a little bit of a challenge. That's one reason why a winged liner is a really hard thing for for me to pull off. I want some glitter glue even though I'm not putting glitter necessarily down. I want something to hold the two shimmery shades that I'm about to use. One eye at a time so that it doesn't dry. Alright, so on the inner corner I'm going to use this white, sort of a silvery white. I'm just going to put some of it on my finger and put it right here in the inner corner. Look at that, very, very pigmented, very noticeable, I like it. Alright, and then I really wanted this one extra spicy, but I mean it's a red. Definitely, I'm worried that it might end up looking a little too pink. Um, so the one I'm going to use today instead is going to be this one called Caliente. Put some of it on my finger and right here in the center. And then just blend out on the top edge a little bit. Love it. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing to this eye and go ahead and put the liner and the mascara on and I will be right back 
to show you the finished look. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I really like this palette. It did a good job. Good color payout. Pretty colors. There's definitely some <clears throat> my voice. There's definitely some more colors in here that I want to try out. But this is what I've got. Thanks for watching you guys, I'll see you in the next video.